morning guys May 5th 2023 this one here I got a call for um, water leaking from the sailing I guess the guy opened up the sailing and there's a copper pipe that's spraying water out the elbow in one quarter mile turn right on Bold County Road then take the first left old FedEx truck like mine looks like well, if he's flipping FedEx drivers are gonna watch out they jump out in the trucks anyway um, yeah there's a copper pipe that's got a leak in it they said it's spraying out the elbow so we'll go out there and maybe pop the elbow off and solder a new one on there I mean rocket science mama turn right on Old County Road then take the first left I mean rocket science Miss Molly oh, oh man I know you love you love to be petted. You love pets. I mean, it's. Turn left on Fisher Road. Wow, why you high maintenance, Miss Bolly? I mean it. <laughs> you high maintenance, Miss Bolly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You high maintenance. Four and a quarter miles. Turn right on Russell's Mills Road. Self-sealing from the... Uh, nah, it's definitely, it's probably, so it was definitely coming from this elbow. What we could do is shut the water off, we'll drain it, right? Yep. And uh, I'll pop this off. Yep. Right? Yep. Maybe I'll make a cut and I'll pop this off and we'll put a new riser because that goes right up into the cabinet. Right into that, yeah. So, then get a whole new piece for the might have to. It doesn't seem like it wants to move, but we'll have to do something. But that's the game plan. Was You know how to shut the water off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can shut that right off. There's two separate. I can. There's two. Here, shut the hot and cold right off. I can show you. I want you to shut the main off at the house. The, the main. main. Okay, that's the main. Okay. So I can open this faucet and here yeah. and drain everything back. Yep. This way here, we're not fighting water. Right. Shut the main off. Yep. I'd have to cut that. Oh, that's kind of going to be tight. Off. All right. This way we're not playing around. What I want you to do is go upstairs and open up all the faucets and everything will drain back. If you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, okay. Open up all them faucets and just leave them open. Both um both sinks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't get my cutter in now, can I? No. No, that other one I don't think is a problem. I think it was just this one that was a problem. It was squirting out like a shower yesterday. Which way was it squirting, do you know? It down. It was coming out. It, it was probably coming from here. We're going to pop this one off. Then we'll, we'll uh, address the riser. Them two upstairs, we're going to cut them below where them hangers were. Yep. And... Uh, this elbow's gonna come out, but I can't get a cutter on here because I don't have enough room. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this pipe up yep. right here. Yep. You're gonna go upstairs. It's the it's the one it's the one on the front. I got it all disconnected. When I tell you, I want you to grab it up top. It's not gonna be hot. Twist it and pull it right out. Okay. Yep. Give me a little bit to get set up here. That's what's gonna happen.
this when there's a leak. Yeah, yeah. We don't want no problems. No, no. So we'll put a new piece up there. Yep. You see, this was all from the hanger. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just cut it below. We'll, we'll put the we'll put it below. We'll put new shutoffs upstairs because that was all rotted. We'll yeah. cut the other one below. We'll put two new shutoffs. Good, good. And uh, and uh, we'll, new the new plastic hangers. Right here. Yeah. And then we'll be good. Hopefully. Can't have a leak. It's not gonna leak. No. It ain't gonna leak that one. I'm done. Yeah, we're done. We're gonna get the, I'm sure I'm gonna get the plaster people in the plaster. Well, how long you been here for you? Almost 40, 38 years, I think. Almost 40 years. Wow, 30, yeah. I've been at my house for 40. No kidding. Oh, Westport? Dartmouth. Oh, Dartmouth, okay. Whereabouts? I bought my house when I was 18. Yep. And I'm. I'm going to be 59. Wow. Unknown caller. Why do these flipping unknown callers? They're scams. They're all scams. They're all flip fishing scammers, yes. huh? Every one of them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I got about 100 blocked calls. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I just, just keep blocking them. them. The, the first, if you keep blocking them, it'll work. If you keep blocking them, it takes a while. <laughs> it's a while. It, well, it takes you to get a block if you want them. Yeah, that's all local numbers. They make it look like local numbers. I don't think it Looking is. Looking crazy. All right. I don't know. You know, like at least half my calls are these flipping scammers. Well, you know, yeah, well, Google, Google, Google uh, listing shit. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm number one on Google. What do I need to yeah. go on this Google listing stuff? Huh. Right. That's right. It's a flipping scam. If I go on Google, I'm the first one that comes up. I mean, why would I want to <laughs> screw that or screw around with that? You no, know, you don't want to mess that one up. Dumb bumps. I'm just trying to. All right, so we're gonna solder that up. What is that? The flux? The flux the stuff. Flux. The flux. What happens is when you heat the copper, the flux pulls the solder in. Yep. When it when it gets hot, it's a capillary contraction. So without the flux, the solder won't go in. You gotta have. Yep. You gotta have the flux. Yep. Okay. That's all that does. And I'm thinking that that elbow had a hole in it, but I can't be 100%. It looks like it might be a, a little spot there. Pinhole or something. You said it was squirting out, right? Yeah, like a little shot or a tiny, it was a small right, We'll solder that up. Then we'll go upstairs and address the rest, yeah, okay? Good. Not no big deal. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, no, it's, it's very, fine. just, you know, very simple. Yeah. Called the right guy for it. I, I got all like, this I, shit in the I, truck. And I, I know I did. That's why when I saw the when I saw the ad, that's why I, I said this is the guy that I'm gonna have come over. The, the cap, the, the solder pulls it in. Yep. And just heats up, a little solder. And just pulled it right in. Oh, that's interesting. You gotta wipe it off after, because if not, that's what turns green is the solder, the okay. flux. Right. The flux is what turns it green. Right. When people don't wipe it, you get the green stuff starting. You gotta get that. That's the, that's the flux will turn it green. Yep. It's copper. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs, All right? And we're gonna address that um, them other issues upstairs. We should be done down here. Let's get these plastic hangers. Just gonna get everything I need. Yeah. 
Do you got a screw gun or should I yep. get one out of the car? Oh, I'll, I'll get it. A screw gun with, with some sheetrock screws. Yep. Okay. okay. You can see where this other one was. See where it yep. made a mess? So what I'll do is I'll just cut here. Yep. All right. Oh, I'll put two new shutoffs. So these are going to be long enough. And then we'll put new hangers down below. Yep. Simple. Where's my, where's my bucket? Right on the left side. This was a regular screwdriver. Phillips. That might have been what it might have been. Might have been leaking from there and running down. Could have been, yeah. I saw the spray though, like a pinhole, but I it don't was know. a spray. Yeah. I don't know why it didn't. It didn't. It wasn't there today. I'm gonna leave this for you. You can see how it was all crusty. Oh, yeah. so, see it? Yeah. I'm going to leave that for you for the insurance company. Okay. Right. Yep. I'm going to leave you all the stuff that was so they could they could see it, right? right. Yep. Like when I cut this, mm -hmm. I'll leave that and you can see. The problem is these things uh, are... Um, we'll leave those. They might know, they might know no, the problem is, see how these rust? Yep. It's copper clad. Mm -hmm. That might be in your ceiling and whatnot. No, you know, when the guy did that, he used them throughout the house. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't, can't do nothing about it. No, well, that's the only spot. The, the, the plumbing, then, well, under, under here, there's some, a couple of pipes, a shower, and a toilet. So it's all in one spot, anyway. Well, we're going to address this and then just have to. Wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah. Wait but the one under you was done about eight years ago. Somebody did it. It's kind of like being married at one day at a time, right? Yeah. <laughs> to the house. It never stops. The battle. The house never stops. Yeah, I'll hold all this. I'll hold yeah, see the rust? Yeah. Not good. That's the, this is the actual spot right there that could have been. That was gone a little bit. I said, it's not a big deal. You probably see this all the time. Oh, I've been doing it my whole life, so. How long you been a plumber? 30, 40 years, you said? 40 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> I started at 18, 18, Did you go to 18, 19, I started right around that time. I was actually in the, my father was a union plumber. Oh, okay. So he got me into the union. Yep. Which is... It's okay. I mean, it's more like commercial work if you're in the union. You do more right. um, schools, hospitals, mm -hmm. big work. Nursing homes. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I always like the house stuff. So yeah. after, um, after 12 years, I said, I'm going on my own. Mm -hmm. And I started my own thing. Mm -hmm. hey, is that name on the truck? I've seen that around for years. More than 12. That's been around like a long time. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, but it's been more than 12 years. I mean, I thought it was yeah, I've been in 30, 28, 28, 30 years I've been in yeah. on my own. Yeah. So, yeah, in this town. So you've probably seen me around town, right? Yeah. You, you, maybe you came here one long time ago, maybe. I bought my house when I was 18 in yeah. Dartmouth. Okay. And uh, that's when I started the plumbing thing. Yeah. Right about the same time, so. Been here. Doing my thing ever since. Yeah, you can see this this other pipe's all kind of like crusty and rusty and shit from the from the rust. Yeah, it didn't quite get to it, right? I don't think so. Let's really put shutoffs on it. We'll turn the water on and we'll check it. All right. If it leaks, we'll fix it. How's that sound? Sounds good. You can't get too uh, worried about it. You've got to do the best you can and let it go. That's why you got insurance. Yeah. It's like upset when your ceiling's not happening. Yeah, unfortunately. At least, you, at least you were smart enough to open it up and see what the problem was. You save yourself a lot of aggravation. Oh, I could have puddled the whole ceiling. This will be all right. It's gonna be. It's gonna be clean. Cause it's not, right? My daughter's in-laws are 
kind of like family and right. they're having a Mexican party over there. They they do these parties on different things and just like a family get together. Right, right. Which is kind of cool, you know. So we're gonna put new shut offs. Then after we'll just put hangers below and screw it in. Yep. And give it a screwing. I'm almost new again. I don't know, it won't be. It's not a big deal. I got all I got all the stuff in the truck. It's just a matter of you got a rolling workshop. Actually. That's a brand new truck, I just got it. Yeah, that must have set you back about hundred. No, actually, uh, it was 55 grand. They wanted 75 grand for the same truck. I got it online. Save the Saved 20,000. What happened was, um, this guy from, um, halfway across the country bought six of these trucks at 2021. They were going to pull the motors out and put battery operated shit. You know, people are going green. Right. Dum dums. Well, that deal fell through. Now we had six brand new trucks sitting on his lot for a year and a half. So then he dropped the price to sell them. They're brand new. They had 2,000 miles on them. No, we had 400 miles on it. Brand new. Brand new, but, you know, a few years old. Yeah, who cares? It's about a few years old. So I got it, I got it for um, 20,000 20, off. I mean, how can you beat that? You can't beat it. And sort it in. If I can, without burning the flipping house down, I should be able to if I just lay down over here. Yeah, I have no problem. Yeah, I'm mean? good. Right. I'll get that. So it's, I mean, it's only got 3,000 miles on it, the truck now. I've been driving it for a while. You yeah. changed the oil in it? You probably didn't even change the oil. I changed the oil at 2,000. It said three. I'm changing it like ahead of time. Yeah, I do that. It's, it's good to... And I'm gonna run full synthetic in it. Yeah. And if they say four or five thousand miles, I'll probably do it like thirty five hundred. I never go five thousand, even though they say it. I'll never go five thousand. You, you go you go like earlier. Twenty five hundred, two thousand. Even with the synthetic? Yeah, I, I change it. I, I don't like going It's not that much money. You can get it cheap. Right. So I've been doing some research on the best one and Oh, well, I guess the Valvoline's got a pretty good line. Mm -hmm. Valvoline's good oil from what they're saying, so. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I'm going to change it probably around, like I said, 25 or. Yeah, that's good. Just make sure there's oil in it. Make sure it's not using anything. Just I always check it, even though even though it's new. I... It's got one of those uh, 7.3 liter mm -hmm. Godzilla motors in it. The V8. Yeah, big V8. Big V8. It's like a torque. That's, that's like a, a 460. Right. That's the torque. You should be able to get in there and solder it. The flux, it pulls it up. the flux it pull, pulls it up with the flux. That's why you need the flux. It does a capillary contraction, they call it. Because I always wondered... Without the flux, you can't do it. Is it, it, it can't, it's called capillary infraction? Capillary attraction. attraction. It pulls... The heat 
in the solder, the heat in the flux pulls the solder in. You see it go right in? It goes up, yeah. It went right up, even though you were starting, it was down. It was yeah, up. that don't matter. Yeah. I'm just going to let that cool, and then we'll, uh, we'll turn the water back on. We'll shut these off, and we'll check for leaks. Give it a minute. i got to... We could probably do them hangers next. Sure. Go ahead. You can see what the copper, copper, copper clad hanger. It's called the only copper clad. It's actually steel. Two new shut offs and a new riser, new riser piece. All day. Well, yeah, you know, when you're out, you know, it's like you just can't say I'm gonna go go for a drive. You're just stuck in traffic half the time. Yeah. So you were on the west coast then? Yeah, we're at Fort Myers. Uh, yeah. Cape Coral. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. Alright, so we're off here. Because I don't want we don't, uh, that's why I do my pictures. We don't want to make, we, while we're here, we want to make sure that nothing's leaking. You know? Mm -hmm. Water doesn't mix with plaster. No. We'll check that elbow downstairs again, but I think we're going to be okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so she's not leaking. So you can show all that stuff to your insurance company. I got the piece right here. And the elbow cell, you got the elbow? Right here. Well, yeah. the other one's upstairs. Oh, this is the one. There's yeah. a little spot there, green spot. It might have been, you said it was pissing out, right? Yeah, a little shower. It was tiny, like a pinhole. It was so small, but then it wasn't there. It was just dripping this morning. So. Yeah, there you go. That, leave all that stuff for the insurance company. Here's one. Mm -hmm. It's a rusty hanger. Yeah, you could sh you could show them that was against the pipe, right? I think the elbow was leaking, but them other things weren't, weren't long for this world before it starts leaking. It wasn't so while we had it down, we changed it, right? 